I'm Dhruv. I love using stock Android. And a Xiaomi phone running stock Android was sort of a dream come true, at least for me. But one thing to remember, stock Android is really the bare minimum. And coming from a Redmi Note 4, there are some MIUI features that I did land up missing on the Mi A1. Here are four apps that I found really useful to bring back some of those features to this phone. Number one, App Locker. It works as you'd expect. You can selectively lock apps even when your phone itself is unlocked. You can either use your registered fingerprint or set a pattern to unlock these apps. And it just does the job well, which is why I like it, except for a couple of minor niggles. If you lock an app like Instagram and reopen it and say you're viewing a story which has audio on, that audio will continue playing in the background even though you have to manually unlock the app. Also, the app you have locked is in your recent or multitasking tab. Those apps will be able to be previewed. These niggles are obviously there because this app doesn't have the system level integration that the manufacturer implemented app lockers do have. But these are really minor problems and didn't prevent me from using this app. Number two, blue light filter. You know, this feature surprisingly not made its way to stock Android as yet. Again, there's no system level integration out here. So it basically adds a color filter over all of your content to help make what you're viewing easy on your eyes and the color filter will show up in screenshots. I usually use this feature at night, so having the option to let it turn on and off at predefined times is perfect. And that's why this is my app of choice amongst all the other reading mode or night mode apps on the Play Store. Number 3. Button Mapper This one is my favorite in this list, but it was also a bit frustrating initially when I downloaded it because the feature for which I downloaded it required a paid update. But for me, it was worth it because that feature was swapping the back and the recent buttons. I'm used to having the back button on my phone on the left and the recent or the multitasking button on the right. And most phones have it this way and those which don't, which I've used recently, at least have the option to let you toggle between these two. But surprisingly for me, this phone out of the box didn't have that option. But this app fixes that. One thing to keep in mind out here is that for this app to work, you have to give it permission to view the text you type. Now by implication, that also would include personal details like your credit card numbers and passwords. Now, when you download the app initially, the developer emphasizes that it only uses this accessibility permission to remap your nav buttons and does not observe the text you type or collect any personal information. So really, it's your call out here whether you'll be able to trust the developer on this assurance or not. But I did try downloading other apps in the Play Store which are meant to do the same thing and they all require this permission. Number four, assistive touch. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this feature but I was surprised at the number of people that actually like using this on their phone. If you're coming from another Xiaomi phone, it's basically called QuickBall. So you can command a myriad of options by using this floating button, which in this app you can resize and also reposition anywhere on the screen. So this app seems almost perfect, right? But I do have one issue out. When I want to exit the shortcut menu, there's no real easy way to do it without affecting the task that I'm doing on my phone at that point. And I have to sort of fidget around to get out of it. If you're interested in checking out any of the apps, head down to the description, the links are there. While you're out there, you can also subscribe if you think you'll be interested in seeing more tech content from me. Thank you so much for watching, hope to see you soon.